A 10 News exclusive. She is the mother of a mass murderer, and she's finally ready to talk about it. Arlene Holmes' son, James, killed 12 people and injured 70 more in a movie theater ambush in Colorado four years ago. I sat down with her this week for her first TV interview since it happened. She told me not only now does she feel brave enough to deliver the message that she hopes will save lives. Somebody is still shooting inside theater number nine. Oh my God. Like so many others whose lives were shattered by the mass murder, to try to get her an carried out by her son, it's clear when you see her face, this is a broken it's, woman. It is horrible what he did. It can't be minimized. It can't be erased. A tragedy doesn't turn into something else. It's always a tragedy. Arlene Holmes realizes there will always be those who say, how did you not know? A question that's consumed her and given rise to the only shred of hope that she can now pass on. I failed to be educated, and I want to offer up that failure as uh, advice to other people. Arlene's message is one she's tragically positioned to tell, the importance of recognizing the early signs and symptoms of mental illness. I can't erase the day, but I wish I could. And the way that I want to honor their injuries and their distress is to try and help prevent something this bad from happening again. So she chose May, Mental Health Awareness Month, to share her story. If I don't deliver this message, I do dishonor the victims because I've been given this opportunity to speak to you. And I need to be brave and take the risk of criticism and go ahead and tell people this is, this is what he was like, this is what I, I can see in retrospect. I asked Arlene if we could look through this photo album, a family on vacation, the fair, the zoo. Going through their stalking. But she's concerned we not show too many. Her message is not about the little boy in these pictures. Through elementary school, he was a happy kid, friendly, had lots of um, kids over to the house. Things changed when James was 12 or 13. I noticed that he was sadder than a child should be. They saw a family therapist for about a year, worked on things, but James continued to get quieter, more irritable. He was having trouble being around people. More isolated. So these are the things that people need to really hone in on and don't try and do like he did and I did, which is try and just keep going or solve everything yourself. You need the help of a professional. Dr. Jim Fix, right. program supervisor of clinical psychology at Palomar Hospital, says mental illness needs to come out of the shadows. We need to be talking about these things. We need to get rid of the stigma associated with mental illness, and we need to get it treated just like any other medical disorder. The National Alliance on Mental Illness says half of all mental disorders start before the age of 14 or 15. And by his early 20s, James was becoming psychotic. He's having trouble thinking, which he didn't have before. His cognition was declining. He's having even more trouble being around people. This is a neurological condition that renders the person unable to be aware that they have a mental health disorder which is why others need to see the red flags. James, we now know, was delusional. The delusion being, I'll kill people, I'll be worth more, which is just horrible to think about or to hear. The thoughts of a madman armed and hell-bent on slaughter. Violence perpetuated by mentally ill people is rare. It's not rare if you're the one that was harmed. It's not rare to you. People tell me their stories and then they say, I never tell anyone. And that has to stop. We have to be able to talk. This message is so important that every night in May, UCSD is lit in green for mental health awareness.
I know there will always be questions about the guns. We know the arsenal that he collected when he was in Colorado, but was there a family history with guns? I asked Arlene that question. She said no guns in the home, no hunting, no target practice, mm -hmm. nothing unusual in the house whatsoever, actually. Yes, fascinating. We posted much more of the interview and a number of mental health resources available in San Diego on our website, 10news.com.